and today's fear is inspired by deer. So yesterday I was at my boyfriend's house and we saw a little family of deer and I felt inspired and thought that I should create a makeup tutorial incorporating deer and this is not a Halloween makeup tutorial. I know that there's a lot of people that have created deer makeup tutorials for Halloween where they do like the little cute nose and the little ears and all those things and this is not that kind of tutorial. I am just trying to create a tutorial that is different but it's wearable at the same time and it was completely inspired by deer. So if you guys want to get this look, then keep watching. Okay, so to start this off, I am grabbing my NYX Jumbo Pencil and I am using this as a primer on my eyelids and then I am blending it out nicely with my fingers. Then I am grabbing my Morphe 35O palette and I am grabbing this ivory shade and I am using it on my brow bone but I am dragging it down a little bit more so we can conceal the NYX Jumbo Pencil. Then I am grabbing this burnt orangey shade and I am applying it all over my crease. And I am applying a sheer layer first so I can apply a little bit more later and the colors can blend really nicely. As you can see now I am applying the second layer and it's just intensifying the color making it all really nice and orangey. Now I am grabbing this brown shade right here and I am applying it or tapping it on the very edge of my eye and also at the very corner of it. And then I am switching over to a smaller brush so I can create a little line in between both sides and I can connect the two. Now I am grabbing this rosy gold shimmery shade and I am applying it on my middle lid and then after I apply it I am using my index finger and I am tapping it so there is no fallout and so it can stick to my eyeball. Now I am using that same little brush again and I am just blending out the edges and with a makeup remover wipe I am creating a very sharp line. Now I am using my Colourpop liquid lipstick in Limbo and I am using this to create a cat eye because I didn't have a brown liquid liner and this one worked perfectly. Little hack. Now I am doing lashes off camera and after I am done I am grabbing my roller lash and I am applying it only on my top lashes because we are going to do the rest of our bottom lid after we are done with the face. So for the face I am grabbing my Magic Lumi Primer and I am just applying it all over my face so it can be dewy and smooth and now I am grabbing my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick. Make sure you don't apply too much of this foundation and make sure that you blend it out with a good brush because if you don't, it can cake up but if you do, you are going to love this foundation, it's amazing. Now I am grabbing my concealer from Revlon and I am applying it under my eyes, bridge of my nose, cupid's bow, chin and forehead and then I am blending it out with a Real Techniques sponge. Then I grabbed my NYX Wonder Pencil and I am just contouring my nose, my forehead, the bottom of my lips so it can look a little bit full and bigger and then the sides of my face. And then I am just blending it all out with this brush from eBay that was like $1.50 that is wonderful that I will make sure to link down below. Then I grabbed my Bare Minerals bronzer and I am applying it on the sides of my face, my forehead and a little bit under my neck so I don't look too ghost-like. And now I am grabbing my Luminoso blush and I am applying it on my cheeks. This blush is beautiful if you have fair skin. It's the perfect color. It's not too pinky, not too peachy. It's beautiful. And then I am using my Airspun Translucent Powder to bake the face. I like applying this on the very edges of my face under my eyes to make sure I seal the concealer also on my forehead and a little bit on my nose and I like to let it be for a couple of minutes while I finish the rest of my makeup then I am grabbing this NYX lip liner I don't remember the name of it but it will be down below on the description box and I'm just lining my lips with it I don't like going too crazy and overlining but I like my lips to look a little bit full so I do like lining my lips at the very edge 
So after lining my lips, I grabbed my Melted Lipstick in Chocolate Honey by Too Faced. This lipstick is beautiful, it's super creamy. Oh, I just love it so much. I got it in a goodie bag and I am just applying it all over my lips. And now it's time to take off all the baking powder off our faces. And now for the fun part, I am grabbing my NYX Jumbo Pencil in white and I am using the back of a stencil to create little dots on my inner corner as well as on the outer part of my eye and they don't need to be symmetrical, they don't need to be the same on both sides. Then I am using the tip of the paintbrush and I am doing smaller circles on my inner corner and on the outer part of my eye. Then I am grabbing my sparkly Revlon Eye Art and I am applying it on my inner corner as well as doing three little dots on each side of my eye just because I thought it would look really cute and cool. And then for the bottom part of our eyes, I am grabbing this rose gold shade that we used earlier and I am applying it on the center of my eye. Then I am grabbing that brown shade and I am applying it on my outer lash line and inner lash line. Then for the bottom lashes, I am grabbing my roller lash and just applying it all over my lower lashes. Now I grabbed lunch money that I have not used in forever. It's such a beautiful highlight. I am so happy I picked it up again. Lastly, I am applying setting spray all over my face and we are finished. That was it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. If you liked this video, please give a huge thumbs up. And since you're already here, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! <laughs>